There are plenty of business savvy cast members on 90 Day Fiancé, such as Stephanie Matto, who was ousted from TikTok for hawking her controversial wares on the platform earlier this month. Many 90 Day franchise stars have found success as influencers, models and musicians, leaning into their fame and established fan bases in the Several others have gone a more traditional route, pursuing real estate and property management careers. A few of stars from the TLC franchise have entered into unique careers, boldly starting companies in their specialized fields. These cast members have built unexpected businesses out of their hobbies and passions, proving to be true entrepreneurs in the process. Molly Hopkins owns a lingerie shop. Molly is an entrepreneurial force to be reckoned with. She's the founder of Livy Ray Lingerie, an inclusive lingerie shop with custom creations in Kennesaw, Georgia. The Brick and Mortar Boutique is co-owned by her best friend, Cynthia Decker. The BFFs also starred in a reality show together called Double Divas, which was about their the shop. During the pandemic, Molly began offering virtual bra consultations to her growing clientele. In an exclusive interview with Screen Rant, Molly said of her business, I am able to solve some real problems, from young girls to several clients that are in assisted living homes. She continued, it's people who are just seeking comfort in their bras and in their breasts. Rose Vega owns a grocery store. Rose is no longer with Big Ed, who has been considered one of 90 Day's biggest villains, and she appears to be focusing on her own accomplishments and happiness. After appearing on the reality show, the Filipina beauty quickly found success in the modeling industry, and has since made enough money to buy several properties and create a comfortable life for her son, Prince. However, Rose has remained true to her roots and, in addition to her flourishing modeling career, she recently opened a grocery store called Prince's Store, in the city of Caloocan, her hometown in the Philippines. Michael Yesen created a wine brand with Ray Kwan. Michael has worked in the wine business since long before his relationship with his now ex-wife, Juliana Custodio, was featured on 90 Day Fiancé. In 2018 the entrepreneur used his industry knowledge and business background to launch Lakata, a sparkling red wine brand co-owned by hip-hop legend Raekwon the Chef, of Wu-Tang Clan fame. Lakata is produced by Canteen Sassi, a winery near Parma, Italy. According to Likitas website, the wine, which retails for $25 a bottle, is a new standard of luxury inspired by Raekwon's love of Italian culture and cuisine. Michael is also the executive producer of Wine & Hip Hop, a critically acclaimed podcast about the two cultures. Tiffany Franco and Yara Zaya launched makeup lines, Tiffany and Yara have undeniable affinities for all things makeup related. It's unsurprising that both women have since launched their own makeup brands. Tiffany's makeup line, Addy Rose Cosmetics, debuted last year. The professional makeup artist's line features an eyeshadow palette called Pinky Winky, which includes four of the star's signature pink hues. Yara's makeup brand, Boji by Yara, also launched last year. Her line offers several eyeshadow palettes, lipsticks, lip glosses, and more. Both brands can be purchased online. Stephanie Matto sells farts and founded an adult content site. Stephanie owns two controversial businesses. Last year she made headlines selling her farts in jars for upwards of $500 each.
After making more than $200,000, the viral star abandoned the venture when her gas-inducing diet landed her in the ER. The fartrepreneur has now entered the world of digital assets, selling fart NFT jars. Stephanie also sells boob sweat in bottles, which she's boasted earns her roughly $5,000 a day. Beyond bodily excretions, Stephanie is the founder of Unfiltered, a fan subscription platform for adult content creators. Since launching, many 90-day stars have joined Unfiltered, including Larissa Lima, Stephanie Davison, Tom Brooks, and Beniam Shibre. Anfisa Arkhipchenko, Ben Rathbun and Paula Mayfield own fitness companies, it isnt surprising Anfisa and Paula have quickly found success in the fitness world, as they are both among the top 90-day stars with huge Instagram followings. Fans have been able to watch their fitness journeys evolve over the years via social media. Anfisa, who recently graduated from business school, has been a certified personal trainer since 2019, and has since been able to use her expertise to help clients reach their health goals. Professional wrestler Paola's business, Super Pow Fit Team, offers personalized coaching, workouts, and more. In addition to personal training, Paola is also certified in nutrition coaching and Zumba instruction. Ex-pastor Ben operates Benjamin Sage Fitness, which he calls a fountain of youth program. His program offers personal coaching, nutrition guides, workbooks and wellness courses. Yara Zaya and Annie Suwan Toborowski own fashion boutiques. Yara and Annie have very different styles, but their looks are both fashion-forward. Yara launched an online clothing boutique called Yara Zaya last year. The shop features an array of outfits, from casual to dressy, and includes many items similar to those she's worn on the reality show over the years. Annie's online boutique, Boom Bangkok by Annie, is inspired by her homeland of Thailand. The shop sells a rotating variety of dresses and blouses sourced from local shops and tailors in Thailand. On the website, Annie states that she is committed to helping small businesses and she personally inspects the vendors she works with. Ariella Weinberg owns a travel company. Ariella and Beniam had some wild fights and experienced many cultural differences while living together in Ethiopia. However, it appears Ari has embraced Ethiopian culture in a big way. Earlier this year, Ariella announced a new travel venture in an exclusive interview with Screen Rant. The reality star explained she is now a partner in an Ethiopian tour company founded by her friend Tesfahan Derije. The company, Simon Land Tours, is based in Ethiopia, but according to its Instagram page, they conduct customized trips and tours to lesser-known destinations throughout East Africa. Travelers can book coffee tours, mountain and natural destination tours, as well as city and cultural tours, among others. Andrew Kenton owns a daycare. Given Andrew's treatment of Amira, it's hard to imagine him having the empathy and patience it takes to care for children. Many fans have been vocal in their beliefs that Amira is among the 90-day stars who deserved better from her partner. That being said, Andrew operates a daycare in his hometown of Roseville, California that he co-owns with his mother. 
Child Care Centers database shows the facility is licensed to provide care for up to 14 children, and the mother and son duo appear to have passed their most recent inspection. In 2020 Andrew also self-published a children's book entitled I Still Love You. The book is about a preschool teacher helping his students navigate pandemic realities. Stephanie Davison owns a weight loss clinic. Stephanie owns and operates Skin Envy, a non-surgical weight loss center with two locations in Michigan. Skin Envy has been in business for almost 20 years and offers a wide range of treatments including the Sir Morlin injection Stephanie injected herself with on the reality show. Her website claims Sir Morlin Revers, S, the biological signs of aging. Skin Envy also sells HCG injections and mesotherapy, both of which the website claims aid in fat loss, as well as hydrofacials, and B12, mic injections. While it's unclear how successful any of these treatments really are, her clients seem to be happy as the website also features several passionate testimonials.